if you had followed the last video that I did on hierarchical regression, you will understand this uh, particular result here um, written here. So I will also put that video in the uh, video description box so you'll be able to follow uh, the analysis. What we did was to run a normal um, hierarchical regression analysis model. So we've changed the analysis to the moderating effect of inflexibility in parental, friends, and teacher support on students' entrepreneurial intentions. So uh, here, normally we have our independent variables as parental, friends, and teacher support. And then we still have our dependent variable, which is um, entrepren students' entrepreneurial intentions. But again, we want to introduce a moderator here, which is inflexibility, right? Inflexibility is about um, people who do not want uh, other people's opinion. They're probably they're kind of Mr. Know It All. So if you've got such a person, how will it interact with parental, friends, and teacher support to you know predict entrepreneurial intentions? Okay, so we will include inflexibility here, okay, as a moderator. So I'm gonna put this in a times new Roman um, font size 12. Um, probably draw this a little more. Now I like to put this in dark black. Okay, so I, I try to use this oval shape to differentiate the moderator. So I, I and so I'm going to put this. I'm going to draw the lines to show you uh, what I mean by the interaction effects. So that means that um, it's going to interact with um, each of these variables here want to see how it will uh, predict. So this is a typical, uh, this is a typical in interaction model, right? So we're going to call these hierarchical uh, interaction regression analysis. So we need to add the, uh, the next hypothesis. So the next hypothesis here, which is hypothesis four will be that inflexibility would moderate the effects uh, will moderate the effects of of a parental support B friends support and C, um, teacher support such that so that the higher a person's inflexibility, the lower their the lower the influence of parental, friends, and teacher support on their entrepreneurial intentions. So this becomes your, your hypothesis number four. So we will head over to SPSS. So you can see the entrepreneurial intentions and then you can see the, the inflexibility variable, okay, uh, which has five items, uh, items one to uh, five, okay. So um, if you look at the, the analysis that we've done previously, so you will see that already uh, parental support yielded these uh, Chromebacks Alpha reliability coefficient, friends support, the same thing, teacher support, and entrepreneurial intention. So we're going to put that of inflexibility in the analysis, okay? So inflexibility, inflexibility, uh, we're going to put inside. So we check, um, we check, analyze, scale, um, reliability, 
so we're going to put the inflexibility that is one to four and so we check so the analysis shows that um, of course uh, the variable the item statements are actually uh, uh, loading well which means they have met the threshold which is 0 0.75778 uh, if we approximate that that's going to be 0 0.78 so equal to 0 0.78 uh, yeah if you follow the previous analysis on uh, multiple regression hierarchical regression that i did uh, so you'll be able to follow so the video is at this video description box so you can you may want to watch that so you'll be able to link to this particular video here so the next thing we need to do is that um yeah of course i've already explained how to uh, group these into a continuous variable of inflexibility. I've, I've said it if you also check my video on grouping variables, grouping like at scale uh, st item statement, then you'll be able to know how these, uh, how I was able to group them into a continuous variable like this to enable me now run parametric analysis like regression. Um, we have some schools of thought, some theories that said in order for you not to have uh, multicollinearity when you are testing uh, interaction terms, that you need to uh, mean center the variables. Okay, so you need to mean center the the the, the moderating variable, which is inflexibility, and then at the same time also uh, mean center the independent variables, the the three independent variables. So that we can be sure that the interaction effects uh, uh, will not be uh, as a result of multicollinearity. So to do this, what we need to do is to go to transform. Um, okay, first of all, you need to check. You need to check the the mean value to get the mean for uh, for inflexibility, teacher support, friend support, and parental support. So to do that, I will simply do. A, a descriptive statistics uh, i will check the descriptive statistics i uh, will only include inflexibility the independent variables here uh, so I'm, I'm i'm only going to check i i say only the mean okay i don't want the standard deviation value i want the mean value so i'll click okay so this has given me the mean for the variables now so what next i need to do is to go to transform uh i'll click transform then i want to mean center the variables so you will see that as i mean center them spss we create a new variable you know new variables for me so i'm going to say inflexibility underscore center okay let's go centered and so I'm going to have this minus the mean value, minus the mean value. Okay, I will subtract it from the mean, okay? And then the mean is, uh, inflexibility is 3.46. So I'm going to uh, subtract this to 3.46. I'll click OK. So SPSS, we create a new variable for me. So I'll go back again, transform, and then I'll say, uh, the next variable I want to mean center is parental. So I'm going to remove this. So I will put parental support. I'm going to minus it from the mean of parental support. So, so you can see the mean here of parental support is, is uh, 3.32. Sorry. Um, 3.2, right? That's 3.32 for parental. Then I'll click OK. A new variable will be created. Then um, I want to also mean center friend support centered. So I'm going to remove this. Then I'll click friends support. I'll subtract it by mean of 3.31. Click OK. I'll come to the next one, which is teacher support. 
teacher centered then I will remove this include teacher uh, the teacher support and then I will subtract it by 3.40 3.40 so you can see that the value of teacher support the, the mean value is this so I will click OK now SPSS has created all those variables for me so you can see that now so I got uh, inflexibility means centered parental support look at the values have been centered then the next thing I need to do is to start creating the interaction terms between these and these so I will head over again to uh, compute variable again so I'm gonna reset this so I will say the interaction um, so I will say inflexibility inflex underscore interaction parental so I'm going to now multiply the centered so it's going to be inflexibility multiplied by parental uh, support centered okay I will create SPSS we create a new variable interaction term for me interaction effect terms okay then the next thing will be to include uh, friend support. So uh, it's going to be uh, friend centered. So I will add it so you can see if inflexibility means centered multiplied by friends support means centered. Okay. Uh, so um, SPSS, we create that. I will create the last um, the last one which is teacher support so that's going to be teacher so i'm going to delete this and then i will put teacher support teacher centered okay and then i will click okay so if you go to the spss interface so you will see that spss has created the interaction terms for me right so in this analysis so what i need to do now is i'll head over to analyze um, regression sorry linear for hierarchical regression analysis so um i'll first of all put the independent variable here now i will no longer use this so i'm going to use the mean center Okay, so I'll put the parental mean centered, say nest. Then I'll put friends. I'll put teacher support centered. Then the next thing I want to put are the interaction terms. I want to see the interaction terms. That is the inflexibility. I want to see how each of them, uh, you know, we predict. The dependent variable so i want to see the statistics and then 95 percent confidence and of course uh, if you follow the previous study you will see that we do not have uh, you know problem of multicollinearity so i'm not going to check this so uh then i'll click ok so you can see the model one is uh the model one is the inclusion of parental support, model two, friend support, model three, teacher support, and then model four is uh, you know the inclusion of um, the interaction terms. That is the interaction of flexibility and friends, flexibility and parental, flexibility and teacher support. That is also explained here, right? So you can see in the model summary here that even the inclusion of the interaction terms is also. Uh, statistically significant here so you can see that the even the model summary uh, is also statistically significant but there's something so important here is that the inclusion of the interaction terms significantly increase the prediction of the of the uh, of the the interaction effects on the entrepreneurial uh, students entrepreneurial intentions and this so you can see that there's quite a higher um, R square value here, which is 0 0.544 or, you know, the interaction term, inclusion of the interaction terms accounted for 54% of the variance explained in the analysis. Okay. 
and this is also the case here but when we come to this point um, you can see that uh this is exactly the same thing that we've reported in this uh and if you come to this analysis this is all, um, exactly the same thing that we've done here okay nothing may likely change okay if you look at the model if you look at our interpretation that we have here um uh, if you follow the previous video on the on hierarchical regression you will see that nothing much may have changed let us see uh let us put back the tables uh, normally so we don't get confused okay so what we need to put here would be the interaction effect but in hierarchical regression in interaction analysis you can see the parental support is 0 0.589 okay that five eight. so if you if you uh approximate you're going to get this uh, 0 0.59 which we have here in our table 0 0.59 that is model one parental support uh which we also reported in the analysis here is something and is statistically significant in the model two uh if you look at the result in the model two you will see the inclusion of uh, uh friends support 0 0.39 and, and let us see here you can see model 2 friends support is 0 0.39 it's still the same thing our focus here right now um are the interaction terms so you can see that uh none is actually statistically significant to the regression by the weights the interaction terms none is statistically significant so if you have too many interaction terms you need to first of all check the ones that are not statistically significant and if you knock them out to see whether the interaction will uh, somehow improve okay so the first one i'd like to uh knock out will be friend support which have appear to have a very high uh significant effect and see what happens with it so, um, so I'm going to knock out friend supports and then rerun the analysis. I've removed the friend supports in the model 4 and then rerun the analysis. So let us look at the interaction see, uh, to see if anything has improved. So you can see that parental support is now statistically significant. But uh, um, tissue support interaction with flexibility is also not statistically significant. So we may likely knock it out. Okay, so, uh, so teacher support, so we knock it out. And lastly, um, so, so we got a pretty uh, statistically significant uh, result. So you can see that this is statistically significant. The interaction of inflexibility and parental support is statistically significant, but negatively. So what this analysis, this result is telling us is that people who, who like to do things on their own, they're not flexible to, uh, to ideas, encouragement, support. Uh, it will likely decrease the effect of parental support on their uh, intention to become entrepreneurs in the future, right? So we're going to report this here. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to also put um, the... Uh, interaction because this is the one that we found a statistically significant result so we're going to have model 4 here we're going to have model 4 and then we'll have the confidence uh, interval um we're going to have the confidence interval at 95 percent confidence interval so uh you might need to uh carefully look at how i'm um you know fixing the table because this is quite important so you need to do a good job here too um expand the table so i'm going to report the result of the model four which is the parental support uh was 0 0.32 so this is 0 0.33 uh if you approximate and it's statistically significant and then the confidence interval uh parental support that is um uh, this into 4.1 0 point, 0.41 comma 0 0.41 so this is going to be zero here okay um then the next one is friend support which was 0 0.23 friend support 0 0.23 
0 0.23 and then uh, the confidence interval was 0 0.0933 0 0.09 comma 0 0.33 okay and the uh, statistically significant then the next one is teacher support 0 0.28 okay 0 0.28 0 0.28 and it was one zero point one three three eight okay zero point one three one three zero point three eight and then the interaction term which was statistically significant was inflexibility the hypothesis for showed that uh, remember the hypothesis for here uh, which said that the inflexibility will moderate the effects of parental uh, friends and teacher support such that the higher person's inflexibility the lower the influence of parental friends and teacher support on their entrepreneurial intentions so so the hypothesis four shows that only parental support interacted with inflexibility inflexibility and the inclusion accounted for. So we need to check because this is also a, a, a hierarchical regression, interaction regression. So we need to see the inclusion also accounted for out of square change. 3% um, accounted for additional 3% variance. Uh, in predicting students entrepreneurial intentions and it significantly reduced the effect of the effect of parental support on students entrepreneurial intentions so i'm going to put this so uh, i'm going to put this uh um uh, change in r square and then i'll put put the result of change in r square so i will head to spss and i'll change the change in r square is 0 0.03 so change in R square is 0 0.03. The F change is 195. 195 into the F change value of 12.54. You can see the value of the F change here, 12.54, which is this particular one. Okay. 12.54. So this is 12.54 and it's also statistically significant right so and since it's significantly reduced the effect of parental support on students entrepreneurial intentions uh we will have to report the regression better weights so the better result the better weight um is beta is 0 minus 0 0.18 confidence interval will be negative 0 0.19 and negative 0 0.0606 so you can see that here and it's statistically significant thus we accept only hypothesis for a 
okay because hypothesis 4a states that the inflexibility will moderate parental uh, support to to reduce to to lower the, the the effect of the parental support so which means that um, when students are not open to receive um, uh, encouragements supports advices and stuff like that it may be pretty difficult for them to um, uh, increase their intentions to become entrepreneurs that's exactly what this is is, is saying okay but you know in your own result you might want to also do other um use other variables to see whether you can achieve positive results instead of having a, a negative interaction effects okay but whatever you choose to do um let me put the results in apa format so this is the uh, standardized uh, uh the standard apa format for you to put so you can see the inflexibility interaction uh points so you can see that and then we accepted only hypothesis for meaning that uh meaning that uh hypothesis 4b uh 4b and 4c we are all rejected okay however um so i'm gonna knock this out but supposing we want to uh, show the interaction, uh, we want to plot interaction graphs. Uh, better, uh, better slope, want to uh, plot. Uh, if we want to plot interaction graphs, which is called slope, interaction slope. Um, how do we do that? Uh, if if I had used um, Andrew Hayes process macro here, if I had used uh, Andrew Hayes process macro, uh, if I said regression process macro, process macro will be able to show me how to conduct the interaction uh, analysis using um, uh, syntax to be able to show me the lines the interaction points at three time points but in this case i'd like to show the interaction point at low and high level okay so to do this uh what i need to do is i will go back to the uh, the the hierarchical regression analysis that i have done and and then i i will um include let's say i, I will include flexibility I mean centered and then go ahead to run the analysis okay so because here i'm particularly interested in the result of the flexibility so you can see the flexibility result uh it's not statistically significant so you can see it's not statistically significant So to um, calculate, to get the two-way interaction terms, uh, which is lower and higher level, um, if I want to get that, to plot the, inter the interactions, uh, interaction terms here. So you can find this statistical, uh, this statistical tool package uh, in Gaskins, James Gaskins website, Start Wiki. So you'll be able to use it to plot the two-way interaction terms, uh, just like I want to do, uh, plotting the interaction graph that this loops. To plot these interaction terms, you're going to use the unstandardized regression of better weight. So now you name the independent value. So you can see here, uh, uh, you can just Google start wiki, start wiki, start, S-T-A-T wiki. And then uh, you'll be able to get this particular uh, two. Now, uh, I will have to name my independent variable here. Uh, remember, my independent variable is um, the one that actually was positive with interaction was parental support. And my moderator here was uh, or is inflexibility. Okay. And my dependent variable here is the dependent variable is entrepreneurial intentions. Okay. So, and what I need to do, so you can see the, the, 
the document had already uh, labeled it the 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 interaction points you know the analysis as it goes so what i need to do is i will go back to the sps and i'll pick the regression the unstandardized regression better weight so i will check it said pick parental support to entrepreneurial intention the the result so the result of parental support on student entrepreneurial intention is 0. 0.0 0. 0.54 okay so I'm, so I'm going to report that so that is 0. 0.54 or uh, i will simply not approve okay 0. Uh, 0.5 Three, seven. Let me just report it exactly the way it is. Then the next one is the next one is the inflexibility effect on entrepreneurial intention. So you you can also check it out here. You can see the inflexibility, uh, which is the inflexibility on intention is zero point zero seven zero. So I'm going to report that uh, as here 0.070 okay then that of the interaction between uh, the interaction between so the interaction between uh, support to flexibility on entrepreneurial intentions so I need to report that value. So the interaction effect is minus 0 0.118. So I'm going to report that minus 0 0.118. All right, so I want to remove this. So I'm not going to mix this up. Okay, so um, let me remove this. So you can see uh, the blue line here represents the high flex uh, low flexibility, and then you see the red one is also high flexibility. So you can see the interaction terms. So let me make this look good a little, um, so it will be easier for you to to look at it. Put it in times New Roman, and then reduce the font size so it will be a little bit uh, readable and reduce this and same thing applicable here uh, I will reduce this and knock it down to 12 so you can see low parental support um, sorry okay give space here Then, uh, so you can see my moderator here, uh, which is uh, inflexibility. So I will also reduce this to font size 12. Something here, put them in font size 12. Oh, okay. Um, remove this. Sorry. And remove this. So I'm going to copy this and then insert into my research work. So you can see the interaction slopes. So this slope now gets to explain. So I will I will now put this interaction uh, result here. And then let us see the interpretation of the interaction slope. So you can see the interpretation of the interaction slopes here. So you can actually copy this and put in your work. It's explained that, um, oh, sorry. This is, so I'm gonna copy this out. Um, so it explains that uh, the interaction slope shows that higher inflexibility dampens
inflexibility dampens the positive effects of parental support and the students entrepreneurial intentions okay so what it simply means is that in, in your discussion in your discussion of findings uh, um, yeah in the discussion of your findings you will now be able to now explain that individuals who have higher flexibility will likely not uh, be able to achieve a positive effect of uh, parental support uh, towards their entrepreneurial intention, enhancing their entrepreneurial intentions. Okay, so, so this is exactly what this study is all about. So you can see how I, I started the analysis uh, from normal hierarchical regression and then got to, uh, got to this level, uh, the level of interaction terms, uh, moderating analysis, moderate, moderating effect of inflexibility, and down to um, adding the results of of um, hypothesis four, and um, you know including it in the table here exactly. So you can see models one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then again uh, the interaction slopes. So this is how you can uh, analyze the results of uh, moderation analysis in uh, multiple hierarchical regression. Uh, yeah, the next video I would like to do, I would like to sh show you how you can calculate the interaction effects, how we can run this same analysis, this same analysis using a path analysis in MOS. Okay. And then I will also calculate individually um, each of these interaction effects of inflexibility on the teacher support and then be able to now learn the interaction slopes the slope this particular slope we will be able to get it at low average and high value and then we learn we know what exactly uh, the effect the 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 impact at low level the impact at higher level the impact at at um at at the at the middle so which is at low average and high okay uh, that will be the next video i'm going to do for you so uh, so we keep doing uh, quality research so if you have spss you can run your analysis and, pre and present your result like this if you have uh, oh oh sorry i think something that is actually missing here is the value of the uh, something that is missing here is the value of the um, the value of the f change so let me put the value of the f change here the value of f change is 11.29 okay uh okay i i, I can just get that here uh, um, from this analysis with the inclusion of okay so i'm going to report this is 12.29 12.54, and then I'll report the result of the the R square and the R square change. The R square is um, I'll go to the SPSS and pick up the R square. The R square is 0 0.54, okay, 0 0.54, and then the R square change is 0 0.03, 0 0.03. Yeah, so and this is also statistically significant so this is how your uh, your analysis is actually supposed to look like so thank you so much for uh watching this tutorial this is pretty long uh tutorial and then uh, i'm sure you must have learned something good today and um, let's keep doing quality research thank you